this is Vicki Davis, the Cool Cat Teacher, and I am so excited about Skype, and I'll tell you what, it has really been difficult for me to do. Um, so I wanted to give a few helps to folks, and the way you get started on Skype is to go to Skype.com, and Skype is a way that you can make free telephone calls on the internet. You can also make free video phone calls on the internet, and it is just so exciting it's unreal I've been using it in my class today and um, I've been teaching them how to do Skype casts and we're going to be doing some neat things uh, recording some podcasts um, through Skype so you're going to go to Skype here and you'll see a little button here that says download now and you can come in it talks about the new Skype and you're going to click download and if you have Windows you're going to go ahead and click and download the new Skype. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. Now I've already got Skype on my computer, so I don't actually need to download it. You're going to click OK. Uh, I have Firefox. Yours may look a little different, but whatever system you use to download, you'll download it, and you will go through the installation process. I already have Skype, so I'm going to start Skype now, the long way, and here we go to Skype. Okay, now I'm going to pretend that I'm a new user and I'm setting up from the beginning. And so I've got to open up Skype and I'm going to sign out. And I'm going to pretend that I'm one of my students and I'm creating something from, from the beginning. So it says sign into Skype. And you see this little button here, don't have a Skype name. Now, when you're installing it, it should probably take you to a screen similar to this. Now, where it says full name here, make sure that you do not um, type in your real name, especially if you're a student. Um, I will just type in Cool Cat Demonstration. Um, and it suggests a Skype name, and I'm just going to be Cool Cat Demonstration because I'm going to delete this here in a minute. password. I'm just going to set up a password. And then I click yes I have read and accepted and I'm going to click next. Now you do not have to put in an email. It's not shown to anyone except those who you've added to your contacts. It's not shown to the whole world and it is the only way that you can retrieve your password. So I'm going to type in um, my school email, since I'm not using that for my other Skype account, it will only let there be one Skype name per email account. Now, here's the other place. Um, for city, if I'm in the U.S., I just put U.S. It's what I recommend to my students so that they can um, be private there. Okay, now do not check sign me in when Skype starts if it's going to be a shared computer for the students. So now I'm going to click sign in. And the first time it will automatically. Now I've got this screen up. Uh, I'm using something to record called Pretty May when we record our podcast. So I'm just going to click cancel for that. Okay, this hello getting started screen comes up, and I'm going to click start. And it gives tells you what the contacts are and all these sorts of things work. Now if you have problems with your sound settings, you can click there to have help. And I'm going to click next and it kind of goes through a little tutorial and tells you how to do things and this is kind of a good place for students to spend a little bit of time now one thing it does highlight the dial out feature where you can call landline phones that does cost money but just one warning to teachers is that you do get five minutes of Skype out time for free now and just watch them and tell them not to use that, that it costs money. Otherwise, your students may think it's cute to call mom or dad at work and you don't want that to happen. And click finish. Now, in your screen, you'll see that you have a Skype test call. And you can click here. And when you make a call, you have two buttons at the bottom. You have the green button here. And then you have the red button. This is to make a call. This is to hang it up. So I'm going to click. So now we're going to hit this and hang up. Now I will give you a couple of tips. If you go to Start and Control Panel and you go to the Sound 
feature here, you go to sounds and audio devices. Um, a lot of my students did have trouble with the microphone feature. And we've got several mics um, set up. So if you go to the voice tab and go to voice recording here um, and click on volume, make sure that if you have another volume set that there is a check uh, beside microphone and uh, that that's turned all the way up. The other thing that happens sometimes is that things are set to be muted and make sure that it's not on mute under volume so that you can hear. You can tell that uh, it may be on mute if um, they cannot hear anything in their earpiece and it may be muted over here in voice or set to the wrong microphone if uh, the other person that they're calling cannot hear. Okay, so I'm going to go out of this and I'm just going to show you how you add a contact. Add a contact. I'm just going to add myself. And I do not add a person unless I know who they are. Now you can see that um, I have this person. I can view their profile. Now right now I do not have much on my profile. Skype name, Cool Cat Teacher, and my homepage, and that's it. And I can click Add Contact. And now I can put in a message. Now I always put in a message and say who you are and why you want to speak to this person. I am me and Okay, and I'm adding myself to my address book. So that request will go in onto my computer and ask if I would like to be added. Okay, and you can search for other people if you want to. Now they appear in here and if they're online it appears green and that means that you can dial that person. You can also chat and I'm going to need to record another one with some of my students to demonstrate all of the features that work in here. I do want to point out a couple of items. If you go to File and Edit My Profile, this is where you put in your profile information and this is what I check for all of my students to make sure that they have not put in too much information because you see they can put in their birth date and their gender and they can put in, uh, they can change their picture which that's where you do that here. You click Change and you can pick a picture and I feel like going to the beach today and so I'm going to say OK. And now my picture's changed when other people look at it. Now, you just want to make sure you don't put in a lot of this information. Okay, and I'm going to say update. Now, if you go to file and look at your online status, you have a couple here. You have offline, and that means you're not online, you're not willing to talk. Online means that if somebody wants to contact you, they can. Now, Skype me mode is something that I tell my students to stay away completely because that means anyone online can Skype you, and um, we don't talk to strangers and if um, that happens, I will completely block Skype from that particular computer and they will no longer be allowed to use Skype and we'll have to have an oral project for them instead. You can say that you're away or not available or don't disturb me. Now most of the time I stay in invisible mode. That means that somebody could try to call me but I'm not shown up as being online. Um, and then there's one other place I want to take you and that is under tools and options. This is where you can set some really neat settings. Um, you have your emoticons and, and you set things up here, but you can go to privacy. And this is the other part that I teach my students. Under allow calls, once I have everyone in the class um, add each other to their contacts and add me to their contacts, I have them go in and do allow calls from only people I have shared my details with or only people from my contacts. So you can put either one and I usually would just leave it to my contacts and allow chats from and you can also set that as well. And you can say whether you allow your status to be shown on the web and I do not. Um, you can also come in and, and decide how you're going to get notifications and what sounds you're going to get and, and you know your other settings that you're going to do. If you want to use a different microphone uh, you can do that as well. Um, you can forward your calls when you're not on Skype um, to forward things to an ordinary phone, which is pretty neat. And you can even record your own welcome message here. Um, and people can leave you voicemails, I believe. I haven't used that feature yet. Um, and that's pretty much what's in here. Now, if you want somebody to be able to send a text message to your cell phone, you have to come in here to SMS messages and verify your mobile phone number and set that up and that's not too difficult to do. Now in here under advanced, um, if you wanted to automatically answer incoming calls you would check that there, but I don't usually do that. 
um, and you can list other information if you want to and I'm gonna click Save okay now if somebody's tried to contact you while you were um, not available that will appear under events right over here and um, and that will happen now anytime you're talking to someone you can also chat to other people and um, you can do a couple other things that are pretty nifty that I will demonstrate in a later call but this is just the basic setup and once you've done that and you've made your test call and you've added your teacher uh, and chatted with your teacher then you're pretty much set to start making phone calls there is one other thing I'd like to show you and that is a download that I have gotten so that that I can record um, in Skype and it's called Pretty May and it has a little feature and while I'm in Skype I can actually click start record and it's an add-in to Skype um, that I've been trying out and it lets you record things and you can save it as a um, WAV file or an MP3 file um, when you go to options and go into the settings. So I've learned how to do that this week as well. Um, one thing I will tell you, and you'll see this when I demonstrate this with my students tomorrow, is that if you get more than two people on a phone call, that a lot of times you will need to have everyone mute their um, microphone and request the microphone by using the chat button. And I'll demonstrate that tomorrow. Good luck for now on Skype. And I absolutely love it. And I'm looking for some classrooms in Spain and in Mexico so that I can pair up our uh, Spanish teachers class with uh, some of you and uh, pair up some students so that they can record conversations for a grade. And we would also like to find a classroom in Mexico and then we're going to have some discussions about the varying accents and things that are different between them. So if you know anyone in Spain or in Mexico or any Spanish speaking nation, there are so many of them, um, we would love to hear from you. Just email me at coolcatteacher at gmail.com.